My name is Jerry Wayne Campbell, and this is my story. I have long been the embodiment of good health. At 47, I'm very much still a young man. Gainfully employed by TMMK in Georgetown. Religious regiments in the gym, nothing on the medical horizon that would suggest I was ill until COVID and pneumonia came knocking on my door in November of 2023. A true blind side of events would transpire. Common daily tasks would often leave me super fatigued and out of breath. A lot of days I would go to work, come home and go straight to bed. Weekends were often spent sleeping 12 to 16 hours a day. At the time, I thought it was just complications from pneumonia and COVID. On January 3rd, 2024, while working on the manufacturing line at my job, I fell ill and super overcome with fatigue to the point of my supervisor contacting my wife, Lindsay, to pick me up from work. It was obvious I needed medical attention. On January 4th, 2024, we landed in the emergency department at Frankfurt Regional Medical Center. It was there that I would be admitted and eventually receive the news that would forever change my life. In Jerry's case, where he was a young person that most likely had just recently got over of COVID, he ended up developing what's called a viral cardiomyopathy, where the coronary arteries are open, but the pumping function has been severely reduced by the virus. This is about heart failure and heart-lung function, and we could see that he was in significant trouble. Essentially, I was a dead man walking. Dr. Sharma and Dr. Paracha were fast acting in my diagnosis and provided me with the best care possible and keeping me stable. Without them, I would not be here today. The doctors from UofL arranged to have him go to their special heart failure clinic where he could be on these medications through his IV that are really top-notch, best we can do to manage the amount of failure he was in and possibly evaluate for um, heart transplant. On January 16, 2024, after nearly two weeks at Frankfurt Regional, I was life flighted to the University of Louisville Jewish Hospital, where I was placed on the heart transplant list. I spent two months in the intensive care unit waiting on a heart. In the early morning hours of April 1st, I received my new heart. Currently, I'm back home actively recovering with a new lease on life, and I feel absolutely amazing. It's a testament to the power of God, modern medicine, and the dedication of healthcare professionals. I'm forever grateful and thankful to the administration and medical community at Frankfurt Regional Medical Center.